So if you don't know, Little Dickie's show, Dave, that's on FX. I'll watch on Hulu. I'm, I don't know. I think it's on FX or FX, FXX. I don't know. Whatever. I'll watch on Hulu. But anyway, so <clears throat> it was accused by uh, Theo, Theo Vaughn of uh, basically stealing jokes, uh, the show. So in a, in a way, I guess Little Dicky as well because his show, and as we'll learn later, he does write the material for the show, right? Most of the material. So yeah. So uh, yeah, it's a, a very interesting thing because Theo Vaughn, if you don't know, he's <laughs> risen massively uh, the past year or so um, to a, a level a relevancy that, uh, I mean, other than maybe like, you know, Joe Rogan and a, and a few here and there, we really, we really don't see, you know, unless you're just like in mainstream, you know, media, exactly. You know, by mainstream, I mean like big movies, uh, big television show, things of that nature, right? So, uh, this is him talking on a podcast, uh, where, where he, uh, he, he reveals something very shocking. So let's, uh, let's check this out really quick. It's one time someone stole their friend's car and a year later, this was in New Orleans where a lot of things get stolen. And a year later they had, they were out to dinner like in the French Quarter in New Orleans and they walked right by their car. So it was parked on the side of the road and she still had a key in her purse, like a spare key and they got in and stole it back. Does that sound familiar? It's not from the show, Dave. As they're about to point out, He's kind of being accused of stealing that story <laughs> before. So you'll see. But before he turns around and says, well, actually, somebody has stole my stories as well. You know, kind of like, so it's like, okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know it's a little bit. I mean, he's just kind of like on the defensive here. But uh, <laughs> that was kind of funny. And I've watched Shameless as well. And that did happen on Shameless also, which is, you know, weird. I don't know which came first, him telling this story or Shameless. I'm not 100% sure. That's crazy. That's, pretty, that's in a that's Shameless pretty rock episode. Star. Is it really? Yeah, it is. It is. Well, not shocked. People are, you, are, are, you, are you passing off Shameless? You mean that exact story? New Orleans walking past? No, it was just a guy dude, found dude. a stolen car oh. and he had a spare key a year later. I don't know why they let it go. I guess with Range Rovers, <laughs> like a, a little tip for anybody who may have one. He's, he's trying not to uh, and I would never steal a story from Shameless or anybody. Yeah. My stories get stolen all the time. About a few seconds later. Yeah. Put that on the record. Theo Vaughn not <laughs> stealing Shameless car theft stories. Yeah. Shameless probably stole it from People him. People steal all my little dicky. Yeah, maybe, maybe Shameless. Shame. Little dicky stories. Did you hear what he said? Little Have you? steals so many of my jokes, man. It's crazy. Like the show Dave? Actually? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's Have, what's up. one joke that you've seen that you're like, that's mine? Too many. All right. Fair enough. Wait. That's a little dicky show. Answer. Yep, yeah. if, answer. he's stealing your jokes. I don't know who. If he, I don't know what's going on, but they got a lot of barred content up in that. I'll say that. Huh. And, and I like little dicky and Theo Vaughn quite a bit, so that's why I'm not really like. It's hard to go after one. I just need to look at the facts here. But I mean, I will admit that answer was a little like. Okay, but I mean, which joke though? Give me an example. One example. You're saying several. Give me one. One example. And, and as it turns out, he only ever gives one example. So. <clears throat> but that's mm. all right. So you hate him? I don't know him, but I know I don't borrow his. Ooh. Okay, man. Question. I know you're heavily involved in the editing process. Oh yeah. So, this is uh, yeah. I mean, you can see the you know the podcast and everything. These are these are on. Uh, but he also, uh, Lil Dicky is also on a podcast and they set it up and then confront him in a very, very, very well way. I think they did it very well. Um, honestly, I mean, they kind of set him up just to bowl him down. And, but I mean, honestly, as you'll see, I think Lil Dicky's response was very well, very good too. I most like he knew it was coming, but Hey, who knows? I don't, I'm not saying he did, but he handled it very well. Yeah, obviously acting you now how involved are you in the writer's room i'm the, the head writer so you just couldn't be couldn't be more and that's very important as he is about to say could be more involved meaning that a lot of jokes go through him right and this episode that you know the episode of the joke that we'll find out later um is from so 
I mean, in a roundabout way, they set him up to, you know, now he can't deny it. Now he can't blame it on another rider, which is the thing that, you know, normally happens whenever shows are caught stealing jokes. Look at the Amy Schumer situation from Steal From Mad TV. Blamed on somebody else. It wasn't Amy Schumer. It was somebody else. Involved in there every day, like on the... However, you know, we break basically every episode starts with like an idea like this episode We want to be trapped in a hurricane with a conservative Christian family and those are typically your ideas or some, it varies uh, It varies. I feel like back in the day season one It was mostly my ideas and then as time goes on I run out of ideas. Yeah, yeah. and uh, We just make more and more different but it varies and once we have an idea okay. Then we got to like really map it out about just like breaking the episode There was that stuff with Theo Vaughn. He was upset like how do you deal with how do you deal with something like that? I've never. I'm happy that you brought that up. So I have never stolen good. any jokes whatsoever. But like, how do you handle that? Like, I don't think did. That... Well, that particular instance, I, I think to myself, well, I don't understand why he would think that I, I, I haven't stolen. You know, the, uh, to catch. I don't know if you guys are aware of the context of it. And I only recently am aware because I saw a comment that it said, was just on the internet and, and yeah, yeah. I think he was doing like a bar stool show, and you guys both had a, a similar sure. idea in the show. One time. This guy That's made his son a wooden shirt. Did I tell you that? A wooden shirt? Yeah, he made his son a shirt out of plywood for Christmas. What? Yeah. He wanted the kid to wear it? Oh, yeah, he did. Is it a stiff shirt, or is it he make it like little itty-bitty tiny pieces of plywood oh, and weave it all together? Oh, no, it was pretty yeah. stiff. Right? Yeah. Well, he had it in I something, and, the, or, and then you had it, it on I a guess. Podcast he said it on a podcast. About the shirt then, Yeah, it was like a wooden shirt. So as you can remember talking about, this was a very small joke in the episode. Uh, not the best case. And to be fair, it's kind of like a broad premise, kind of. I mean, yeah, yeah, the coincidence, you know, it's a, it's a coincidence for sure. Um, not saying that they, anybody stole that joke, but I feel like that joke wasn't like insane to come up with, you know? So, yeah, but I think, I think little Dickie handled it very well. He actually, like, Said, hey, thank you for me, you know, asking me this question so I can talk about this. I mean, I think it was classy. So, you know, again, I'll, I'll also really enjoy Theo as well. So it's not like you know, picking on Theo here, but yeah, his his case isn't rock solid. And then you guys had in the show. I remember when we came up with the wooden the stuff episode. in the writer's room and it was totally built on a different idea that was about like a one single, like a man whose entire house was made of wood down to the clothing. Yeah. And then it ended up, we ended up not going with that storyline. Yeah. Ended up doing one small, really inconsequential scene of my series where a guy was just selling wooden shirts. Many mutual friends. Yeah. I always was Story under line. the understanding that like accusing a co comedian of stealing jokes is like it's, a major taboo. It's, and it's, it's a big deal. The biggest, yeah. It's a big, so big deal. I, I was like, well, just reach out to me and let's talk. Cause yeah. I've never, and I have nothing but respect sure. from what I see of his content yeah. online, but I never have stolen any joke. That's really my immediate reaction. Yeah. It's not like, I'm not hurt by it. I'm just like, why would that, why would he be so insistent that I, when I never would? Right, right. Two people can't have the same idea. It's a pretty broad idea. It is. Like yeah. the idea of wooden clothing. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm sure there, I don't know. See, it's kind of specific the way you just yeah. said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, like, but I'm sure there's men and women are different. Yeah. Yeah. Very one dimensional. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I, I I have kinda, you guys spoken at all? No. Why don't you guys just talk? Why not? Yeah, I, I would. Because I think a lot of times what would happen in these situations is, you know, both sides explain their part and then you go, oh, okay, I see why this, you know, these two different comedians came to this conclusion and it Nobody wasn't sure. somebody that's no, trying I, to I, bite. I'm yeah. definitely down to, I have no beef with him whatsoever. I don't like when, you know, if, if I post something and I see like, stop stealing Theo's jokes. Like, it's just, I don't, I'd never have done that. Yeah. I mean, invite him on the show. Put that in the show, maybe even something that something that nature. Maybe I mean not because in the show he's a rapper, but something like that. Make Theo like another rapper that you know he's accusing Dave of this, this sort of thing. I don't know something maybe. Like I mean I'm sure you figure that out. I mean bring him in somehow, even if it's not that. Maybe bring him in for something. And I think the, there's only one joke in question. It's yeah. not like I've made like a career. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't even know what other jokes were even questioning. Yeah. Like three one. seasons of television. Right. Yeah. One joke. Okay, that's fair. And I, I definitely see both sides. I mean, you know, Theo may, you know, believe that that joke was stolen. I mean, it could have been. Who knows? But I mean, also, I don't think so. I think this is a case of a very similar premise. And, and it was a throwaway joke in the show. That's also a thing, too. The show is 
Well, the episode was ultimately not built around that joke or, or the premise of the wooden clothing or whatever. Right? So, yeah. I mean, just a weird thing. And honestly, I'd forgot about it until it was brought up. So, yeah. I don't know. I mean, draw your own conclusion here. I don't think it was told. I think it was just, uh, honestly, probably a coincidence. <laughs>